So this is just a quick video to talk about some of the lesser known attributes or aspects of anchor tags in HTML. I've got three paragraphs here with anchor tags inside each one of them. And you can see by default you get the href attribute. This is the one that links to whatever the hyper reference is. So some other HTML file, so uh, an image, a CSS file, a JavaScript file, somebody else's website, you can link to wherever you want. The target attribute specifies where you want this thing to open. By default, if you don't put this inside there, you're getting underscore self as the target. And if I do underscore self, it just replaces the current page. Underscore blank, if I click on this, you can see it opens it up in a new tag or a new tab. Now, there is also the base element. If I put this up inside the top here, what's going to happen is this is used as the base URL. So anything that I link to here is going to be relative to this. If I put in just hash mark, it's going to be looking for this folder right here because this doesn't specify a page and I haven't put a page inside here. When I click on this link, okay, so this is the previous version with going to blank. Now, and you can see there's the hash mark. Now if I refresh the page, save this, and I refresh this, this is where I end up. This is the index.html file in this folder. There's the hash mark, and you can see that it was just tacked on to the end of this base href. So the base will impact whatever your hrefs are. Okay, so that's the, the first thing, using the target. There can be a target in the base, there can be a target inside the anchor tag, and that will determine where things are loaded. Okay, so let's come back to our page here, refresh this. Now what I want to talk about is the download attribute. Okay, if I put a specific page in here, let's say uh, I'm going to link to this PNG file. By default, when I do that without this, I'm saying target is blank, so open it up in a new tab. There we go. There is the PNG file being opened up in a new tab. I'm going to change this to self. That would open it in the same page. So now I have to go back. This is the default. Now if I add the download attribute, this tells the browser that I want to download whatever this is. If I click on it, I want to download it. You can put any value inside here you want, but most browsers will take this as the name of the file to download. So if I refresh this now, I click on the link, there we go, deadpool.png. That was the name of the file. So it downloaded this, it didn't try to open it in the browser, it just downloaded it and saved it with the name that I provided. Okay, one other um, thing to note, there's a couple of other attributes that don't really do much. You can specify a MIME type. So I can come in here like this. If your browser set up to handle certain MIME types in a specific way, this is the, the encoding for the file that's being downloaded. Um, we can also specify a rel, which is a relationship, uh, but the browser doesn't do anything with this. So in the same way in the style sheet, you say link rel is style sheet. Down here, I could say rel equals image. But there's not really much point to it because none of the browsers do anything with it. Uh, type will get used to help organize if there's a bunch of downloads happening. It'll help to group them. But again, there's not a lot that gets done with this. One last thing that I will uh, mention is up inside the href, let's go to one of the other ones. I'll leave that one there as is. Um, we can specify other protocols. So there's mail, tell. Mail is an email address. Tell would be a telephone number. 
there's a few others as well depending on the device that you're on the browser that you're on there's varying uh, degrees of support for them we can put in uh, geo for geocoding if you want to put in a latitude and longitude and that'll bring up a mapping application but again it depends on what your what your device is which browser you're using the support for that one so tell let's just say one one two three four five six zero nine eight seven there's our telephone number I can even throw the, the plus on the front of there uh, so here's a, a telephone number and if we click on that link now it's not going to do much here on my computer but it will prompt me to open up an associated application mail if you've got a mail application so bob at work.org then we can also specify this is the to address but you can also specify a carbon copy address the CC address so let's say we want to also send it to Fred at work.org and you can also add the subject line like that clicking on the link oh sorry it's not mail it's mail to that's why nothing's happening there we are <laughs> mail to click on this and there we go so it's opening up the mail application on my computer on your phone it would do the same thing it would open up the whatever email uh, applications you have all right so that's just a few of the lesser known uh, things that you can do with anchor tags hope that helps as always, thanks for watching.